Well guys, I got an awesome video for you. Let's go ahead and pull the cover off this car. This is so exciting for me. It is a 1990 Porsche 944S2 Cabriolet. A car that I've wanted for a very long time. Unfortunately, this one's not mine, but I do get to take care of it for a short time. And on this video, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna walk through it. This one is gonna be for sale and I'm gonna do a full detail cleaning. We're gonna get into the engine and clean that. And we're gonna take it for a ride and just talk about it. So I can't wait, you guys stay still. I'm gonna get the rest of this cover off and we're gonna start cleaning. So as many of you guys know, I own a 1984 Porsche 944, which is significantly different than this 1990, which is an S2. The engine's different, the interior's completely different, and I've even thought about doing a side-by-side -side comparison if that's something you guys would like to see. As I have this car for a little bit of time, I plan on doing a few videos on this, but mostly this video, we're gonna be doing a lot of cleaning up. I'm gonna be doing a ceramic coating. We're gonna be polishing out the paint. We're gonna be cleaning and detailing the engine, and I just really wanna do a full showing of this car. So unfortunately, the 944 for most of its life has been looked down upon by the Porsche enthusiast community, and that's mainly due to the fact that it's got a front engine, and it was a car derived from the 924, which was built alongside Volkswagen. But honestly, they're both amazing cars, and a lot of people are completely missing out, and that is why the market is shooting up on these, because the 911 just really got out of control, and then people started driving these, and these are unbelievable handling cars. And I gotta tell you, it is one of the best best cars I have ever driven. And if you've got a manual, it's one of the most fun experiences you will have in a car. That is why I'm so excited I get to show this one specifically to you guys. And I am very excited about doing this video. So let me get set up. I'll kind of skim through a lot of the stuff on this since you guys have seen a lot of detailing videos, but I do want to show you kind of the progress of it as we kind of polish out. We put our ceramic coating on there and we do the engine, but I don't want to bore you with a long video of that. Then we'll take it out, do some photos. I'll walk through it. So if any of you guys happen to be interested in purchasing this, reach out to me and I'll let you guys know a little bit more about it. And you can find me on Instagram. That is the best way to get a hold of me. You guys can DM me. If you have questions about your cars, if you have questions about this car, feel free to reach out to me. That is the easiest way to get a hold of me. I'll put that on the screen now. And go ahead and make sure to follow me on Instagram. All right, let's get set up and start cleaning. So once you've either polished the paint down or clay barred it, which is what I usually do, in this case we did polish the car so we don't need to go back and clay bar it, you're gonna wanna move on to cleaning it down once again to remove any waxes, residues that still exist on the paint. You can use Avalon King's Prep Shampoo, which is what I did last night, or you can simply wipe it down with some alcohol and a uh, microfiber towel. I did both. I went ahead and cleaned it down last night with this, and I just got done wiping it down with alcohol. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the ceramic coating. I love this stuff. So this is Avalon King's Armor Shield. You can pick it up off their website. I am not sponsored, but I use it on every one of my vehicles. It's very easy to apply. You just put it on, buff it off, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it now and then we'll move on to doing the engine and taking photos so stay tuned
All right, now that we've got the car ceramic coated, we're gonna move on to the engine bay. And we're gonna do a few things in here. We're gonna start off by blowing everything down. I'm gonna use a shop back on the reverse side, the blower side. You could use a blower, you can use compressed air, but I like to use things that people have readily available. So we'll just kind of blow everything out. Then we're gonna use a degreaser and we're gonna stick with our super clean all wheel cleaner that we used on our rims. That way I know it's gonna be safe on all these metals. We're also gonna remove our negative battery cable so we know we won't get anything wet and ruin any electronics and also to be safe with that we're just going to use um, one of these sprayers here so we don't oversaturate the motor this is one of those little harbor freight uh, pump sprayers so that allows us to kind of control the water flow so we can spray everything down and just wipe it with some um, microfiber towels we're going to finish all the plastics off with this tire foam i love it this stuff works amazing it shines everything up and kind of finishes everything off the one last thing that we have is we have new liner like i said earlier and it looks like it's going to be real easy to install i just picked this up off ebay and it looks like you just peel this and stick it on so that should be a real easy installation but that is going to make this engine area just look really complete so let's go you guys will see most of this in fast forward but i just wanted to fill you in on how we're going to do it We are finally done with the full cleanup and the ceramic coating. Let's take a look at the engine bay and how great this came out with just minimal effort, guys. And what a difference. Let's take a look at the new lining that we put in there. And I mean, that just finishes everything off. I went ahead and pulled the top down. Let me go ahead and put the hood down real quick and just take a look at that paint shine. And this paint is not perfect, but man, that ceramic coating really just finishes off a car. I pulled the top down. I did not put the top cover over top of it, but that is in the trunk. I figured I'll put the top back up when I take off. And what a difference the ceramic coating makes. The interior in this car is absolutely gorgeous in very, very good shape. The only real thing that he did was installed a, the previous owner installed an aftermarket radio, but it's a really nice one. He went ahead and put that radio in there because the previous owner put a real cheap one in and unfortunately must have gotten rid of the original one. Door panels are excellent. And this car had a ton of work done to it recently. It's got the timing belt, the water pump, all the seals were done. AC is completely brand new and blows cold. Uh, he replaced the top back window so a lot of maintenance was done and previous the clutch was done i want to say like 8,000 miles ago so it's got a much newer clutch in here so anything that could have needed to be done for this car has pretty much been done either recently or with lower miles put on it so let me know in the comments what you guys think and let me know if you're interested in this car like i said it is for sale uh dm me on instagram i'll give you more information about it this is a 1990 Porsche 944 Cabriolet S2. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I'll catch you on the next video.